Hello, everybody. It's Kate Richberg, and welcome to me fixing my hair and the third Thursday earring kit. It's that time of uh, uh, the week. The, the third Thursday earring kit is coming along. Um, I wanted to tell you folks that we are broadcasting from a bunch of different places today. I thought I'd add in my Kate Richburg jewelry educator, <clears throat> pardon me, Kate Richburg jewelry educator YouTube channel. So those of you who are watching on my YouTube channel, a big hello to all you all here. Um, it's great to see you. And of course, we're on our regular channels of Bead Shop, Great Bead Extravaganza, Bead Shop YouTube, all of it. So it's great to have all of you all here. So today, for those of you who aren't familiar, you know, every third Thursday of the month, we debut a new earring kit. And this is uh, this month, September, my birthday month, though my birthday. Uh, thank you uh, all for such lovely uh, birthday greetings. You made my day and my week so, so wonderful. Um, it was last, it was Sunday, this past Sunday. So thank you so much uh, for those warm greetings. Um, but on the third Thursday, we debut a new earring kit. I wanted to make this one super special. So I did. And luckily, so I know a lot of you have um, seen the announcement from our friends at TierraCast, right? Unless TierraCast, there's some kind of Hail Mary pass at the end of the year, uh, TierraCast will be closing at the end of this year, 2023. So <clears throat> thankfully, I conceived and ordered all the components for this earring before uh, Tierra Cast made that announcement. So there was plenty of stuff. So I got to choose everything I wanted. I had no idea they were closing, but this last earring kit is kind of a love letter to our friends uh, at Tierra Cast. So there's gonna be some special things in here that we'll never see again that I thought, oh, we could really add to our offerings, but unfortunately they'll only be offered in this kit, but it's a good one. So I'm gonna, show you folks this one. Also, the thinking behind it was, you know, let me, let me take a load off here and sit down with you all. Let me move that over. Sorry about my big paw in the way there. Um, so what I did, uh, was, and you've seen me do this before. When I say that earrings are cousins, not twins or not sisters, right? That earrings kind of, um, match, but they can kind of be worn with other earrings. Not everything in the earrings has to be the exact same element, right? So uh, that's why I called this kit Cousins. We're going to make four different earrings, two pairs, two that match or they don't have to match, um, and two that definitely don't match, all right? But they'll, they can all be worn together. Oh, thank you, Marianne. I'm glad this is just some of my forays into uh, soft goods pin making. So thank you very much for that. Thank you for noticing. I'm also wearing one of the earrings from the kit today. So let me show you what we've got going on here. Let me highlight that and let's get to it. Okay. So let me take these off and let me show you, let me get my glasses on so I can see what's shaking here. Okay. So you can see kind of my messy sideboard there. Let me, there we go. A little less messy, I guess. Um, okay. So here are the two pairs of earrings. I'm going to zoom, zoom in just a bit here so you can see it. And I'm going to go over the components and I'm going to go over how to put them together. And just a note, folks, just so you're like, well, where's the kit? Uh, let me show you where you're going to find it um, on the bead shop. Hang on. Um, 
Let me go to our website here. Bear with me here just a second. And I'm going to show you where you're going to find it. The kit is going to go live uh, at noon today. Uh, and it's going to go live uh, right after this broadcast. So right now it's 11.44 a.m. Pacific time. So you're going to see, <clears throat> pardon me, you're going to see that kit go live. Let me share my screen here so you can see exactly where it is right on beadshop.com. So here we go. Can you see there? There is the uh, homepage, you can see our September savings coupon. You can also see the, see the exquisite earrings that Emily made uh, yesterday. And there, smack dab in the middle, is the third Thursday earring kit. Well, after noon Pacific time at 12 o'clock, um, you're going to click that button and you're going to see, see how we wrote thurs, third Thursday earring kits, kits will drop Thursday, 9-21-23 at noon Pacific. You'll see it right here. And, you know, speaking of kits, we do have a few Tierra cast kits left. I just wanted to scroll through those. And folks, when those Tierra cast kits are gone, they will be no more. Okay. So if you love those, pick up the Tierra kit, cast kits now before they um before they go away so uh there we go so <clears throat> let me show you this let's take a look at the kits themselves uh, i'm going to turn up the brightness on my computer there we go um and so what i did was this kit as i said is called cousins thank you everyone is saying such nice things thank you everyone for your kind comments i'm going to try not to let them go to my head um so these over here, can you see these little, these kind of long kind of multi-dangle earrings? And even if folks, you're watching this later, right? You're not watching us live. Today is 9-21-23. You can take these ideas because we do still carry hoops. Um, you can do this with chain links, right? Components, different com components, things like that. So you can create your own kind of version of this Cousins kit, okay? So let's take a look at these here on the left-hand side, or on the right-hand side, my right. What I did here, let me turn the, well, let me open, let me open the kit. You're going to get it in a little organza bag like this, and you're going to get some baggies that have all of your little components in in it. Okay. So these earring toppers, I just love. We haven't carried these before, but I may add these into the mix because I love an earring topper like this that lays close to the ear. And you can see the way that they come <clears throat> like this. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more so you can see. Um, they come with the earring backs on them, and the earring backs are in the kit. They're not connected to um, the earring backs themselves, but they're floating around in the kit with your findings. So you get the earring fronts, the earring backs right here. Okay. Then what you get is you get a couple of really beautiful hammered rings. And let me tell you the sizes of these so you kind of know what's shaken with them. Okay, let me get my millimeter gauge. They're about 12 and a half millimeters, these discs, and they're nice and chunky, not quite 1.5 millimeter. They're heavy, but they're not so heavy that they're going to drag your ear down. We have a nice hole in there that's about a one and a half millimeter hole in size. Um, and then the inside diameter of these hoops, these hammered hoops are um, about 12.6 inner diameter, about one and a half millimeters thick, and outer diameter about 7.7. .7. And friends, if you don't have a caliper to show you the way to measure beads, 
um, get yourself a caliper, right? Yeah, this is my birthday polish. Thank you. My birthday nail polish. Thank you for noticing. Thank you for noticing. Um, so then what you're going to do, let's lay out what else you have so you can see how I've laid these out. Now, you can put your components together any way you want, right? This is how I did them, okay? So you can um, feel free to use your kind of artistic ideas. But see here with the charms, we've got a star and we've got an arrow. So what I did was I added the arrow to the ring and I came in and I added the star up top like this. Now this in and of itself, I think would make a great cousin's earring, right? Star up here, arrow down there, bam, you're done, right? Super cute. But I wanted to use, you can see these little Palomas, these little doves. Sadly, those are from Tierra Cast. So no more of these when we run out. And I got the last of this Black Ox um, from Tierra Cast of these Palomas. Aren't they just, the detail on these are just darling. Look at, look at that little, that little nugget right there. Okay. So again, you could stop here with this earring and still have a whole mess of stuff to work with for something else. Okay. This would look darling. But what I wanted to do here is I wanted to make these earrings kind of the same length, right? So I used a head pin. This is a 22 gauge head pin about approximately, again, these really fine head pins from our buddies at Tierra Cast. No more, no more after these are sold out. <clears throat> I added the, the Paloma, the Dove on the head pin and I'll make it about that length. Can you see how I left some bare wire here on this one? So what I did was, oh, and the crying shame. Well, and you know, we wish everyone at Tierra Cast all of the best. And we know that you folks have worked so hard. And believe me when I say that running a small business, because Tierra Cast is also a small business, right? A small US based business. It's getting harder and harder to um you know, in the, in the business world. So we wish them well, but gosh, are we going to miss, look at this bead. This is about the size of a size eight seed bead. Kind of hard to see there. There we go. It has a little, um, beaded kind of like, almost like a daisy spacer around the center. It looks like a daisy spacer with two bead caps on it, but it is a single bead. So I grab these. So your kit has, I don't know, eight or so in them, eight or 10. I'm not sure the list says it, but I use these little beads to um, accent what was going on here. So in this bird drop, I have a three millimeter fire polish, which is here. <clears throat> Let me get it. Let me get a better pair of tweezers. There we go. Three millimeter fire polish here, right? Then I have a five millimeter. The daisy spacers we carry are three. Also, daisy spacers from Tierra Cast. We're going to have to find somewhere a new daisy spacer um supplier but we will we will um i hope she says encouragingly so that daisy spacer goes there then it's the paloma then it's that beaded bead then it's a spacer in whoops a spacer in gunmetal then it's another beaded bead okay so that's the drop 
layout on this. So, so far, we've got the earring tops, Paloma over here, star, arrow, and this little section here. Let's <coughs> take a look, pardon me, at the Paloma drop that's up here. And essentially, it's the same thing, right? It's the same Paloma, um, th the same layout that I did here, only we're going to attach it up here at the top. Okay, so let's get that um, fire polish right there. That five mil daisy spacer. And I wanted to use gold. I don't use gold all the time, but I sure love this antiqued gold um, look to this. It makes them feel kind of vintagey, sort of. I don't know. I just, I love them. So here's the Paloma drop. Oh, and I need a, I need a head pin. Okay. So let me put this one over here and this one over here. Let me clear the decks here with these. Okay. So that's what we've got there so far. All right. Now, what I did was I attached, I gave you two of my favorite jump rings. These um, textured jump rings that we carry, we do carry these. This one is going to connect that arrow to the big ring. And this one is going to connect that Paloma drop to this ring. Okay. Next, I just did a bunch of drops. And in this earring, there are two, each of these drops are different, but they're the same in both earrings. So this drop has a three mil. I'll put one over here too. A three mil fire polish. That necessary daisy spacer. Necessary daisy. I'll put it over here. Um, what we call the sixth sense bead. We carry it again. A tiara cast beauty when they're gone, though they're gone. But Janice and I have some new spacers, folks, that are coming. They're going to be different, but different isn't necessarily bad. We'll just move on to a new era and cherish our memories of our beautiful tiara cast beads. Now here is a special little baby that I want to show you. It's hard to see on camera, but when you get it, you're going to love it. This is an English cut, folks, in a four millimeter, um, and it's Picasso. This well might be one of my new favorites, and we may try and get some of these four millimeter English cuts. They're not as fancy pants as a fire polish, right? A fire polish is a nice faceted bead, right? It has a little more vintage flair to it. So I just, I adore them. So I put them in the kit. Uh, then uh, we need to do the other drop here. This, my dears, my darling darlings, as Janice likes to say. Again, hard to see because it's so tiny. This is a melon. This is a four millimeter or a three millimeter. Let me measure it. Melon. It's in that Alexandrite color with a gold wash on one side. Let me double check the size. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on now. There we go. It's a three millimeter, three millimeter melon. Really, again, vintage flair, not super polished, right? I love them. So that three mil melon, five mil daisy. Come on, daisy spacer. I'm pulling it out with these little tweezers. 
and a three mil fire polish to top it off. So here's the layout, okay? And you can screenshot this if you want, right? Here's the layout here. Um, you can also, of course, watch this. This video will be up over and over again. Now, if you're watching this later, folks, and we have long sold out of this earring kit, I want to talk to you a little bit about the elements of putting this kind of a thing together, okay? You can see with these main components, there are some things that I chose deliberately that matched, and there are some things that I chose deliberately that didn't match. Let me see. Did I miss? No, the sixth sense is right here, and the sixth sense is right here. So hopefully they're all, they're all there. Did I miss it? Oh, I did. Thank you, Mary. Eagle eyes. I was missing one. Sorry. I wanted them to match ish. Thank you for noticing that keeping me on track. There we go. Delete your old screenshot, put this screenshot in place of it. Okay. So here it is. So I deliberately pulled these earrings together with the elements on the top, with the loop elements, and with the color of all the components, okay? I also used the same bird element here, but I thought I would vary them, right, and have one bee dangling, one bird dangling down there, and one bird dangling up top. I also made them fairly uniform because they're fairly, um, what do I want to say? Fairly um, the same length, approximately. Okay. So that was, um, that's another unifying factor for these. Okay. Also the jump rings, I'm using the same jump rings here. And I'm using a charm, the star and the arrow kind of look like they go together sort of, right? At the top here, I also, you can see on this one, this connector here and this connector here, I connected these with plain jump rings right there. This is the six millimeter jump ring here. Okay. So that's it. That's these here. Okay, let's take a look. I'm going to put these together for you in a second, but let me move up on my beadboard and let me show you the second set of earrings that I have here. So I've got these here and I wanted something like if you have multiple holes in your ears, I used to, they've closed all these years ago, um, but you could wear one of these simple earrings on one side and one of these fancier earrings on the other. I think that would look cool. You could also see how I made these two earrings really match, right? They're exactly the same. I used the bare wire and you can make this earring shorter or longer, doesn't matter. But you could, if you wanted, this is a check glass faceted bicone cathedral cut bead, which I love. I could also, and this is that uh, Casbah bead in black. Thank you, Tiara Cast. Again, no more. It's a little hard to see on camera, but it has really beautiful detail. Again, it feels super vintage to me. <clears throat> you could reverse this. And I could, if we really wanted to continue on that cousin's theme, and I think maybe I'll put these in reverse, right? So here and here, then I've got the five mil, the daisy spacer in between. So that one will go there. That one will go there. You have extras. You have extra three mil uh, fire polish. You have extra um, of the little faceted melons. I think I put faceted melons on the bottom. So let's put faceted melons on the bottom. We've got a spacer 
in there. And you're going to have extra spacers too. So let me put a spacer there and a spacer there. Uh, maybe I'll put, you're definitely going to have extra English cuts. So I'm going to add onto this one an English cut at the top. And I think you're going to have, let me double check and just make sure that I'm not telling you wrong. Ten, two, four. Two, four. Okay, so you are going to have extra of these little beauties. So I'm going to put them in this earring, those little round right there. <clears throat> and I think you're going to have an extra spacer. Let me make sure. Because I've got some extra extras sitting here from my kit. Here they are. Let me just make sure. One, two, three, four. Yes, you're going to have extra spacers, too. I'm going to put that there. Right? Two, four, six. You're still going to have some extra. So that's good. Okay. So I think I'm going to put these together like this. I also have these ear wires, and I want to show you how these ear wires go together. Let me count. Two, four, six, eight. I believe that's eight. Two. Yeah. So I've given you, and I really wanted to carry these because I love them, but instead I'm going to show you how to make these. Not today, but these are from TierraCast, and these are their plain ear wires that you can add things to, okay, which I love. I love them. They're not that difficult to make, and so I'm looking at getting in uh, the perfect plier for this as well as the perfect wire. So that'll be coming. Even though we can't get them, I'm going to teach you how to make them, right? Teach a woman to fish, and you'll have your wires forever, right? Isn't that what they say? So I'm going to use the metal rounds. I believe we have enough. If I'm not counting correctly and you're short, just move around your beads, right? But I think I am. I think I am. And then one more. Let me make sure I'm not using too many spacers. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two. Four, five, six, seven, eight. No, perfect. <clears throat> and one of the black spacers below. Okay, let me get all of this into the camera range. So get ready if you want to screenshot this layout. Now, I encourage you to lay out these earrings exactly how you want to do it, right? If you find another way that you want to do it, do it. I'm also going to screenshot this for fun, just so I've got the layout. So let me do that. Let me do this and screenshot this bad boy. Okay. Um, all right. So let's start assembling these beauties. Okay. Super simple. So let's tackle these up here at the top first. Okay. Um, you can see I used the head pins and I left them bare because I like the way that bare wire looks right on them. So let's go ahead. I'm going to just line these up on here. The melon, the spacer, the casbah round. I can't quite see the hole in it. There we go. The five mil, 
the check glass, the spacer, the English cut, and that beaded bead. So you can see, see how that's a little bit longer? A few more beads, right? You could have, again, you could make a match like this. You can make them a little longer like this. You can make them match all going the same way or not, right? So let me get this one out of the way and let me put this one together. And I'm going to do this one in reverse. And let's see what it looks like. Go. This English cut, come on, there's the hole. And that beaded bead. This is also, let me zoom in on these a little bit. This is also when I make earrings and I'm not quite sure how I want to put them together. I'll make the pair and reverse my elements and see what I like, right? So I could make them both like there. It's kind of like this. I would have to reverse the beads a little bit. But I like how these earrings are cousins and not twins. Okay. And so this length, let me tell you how long this earring is. I think I used all, I didn't cut away any of the head pin here. So the head pin length, I think is an inch. Uh, it's two, it's a two inch head pin. Okay. So I didn't cut any away. Oops, but I'm dropping it on the floor. Hang on, there we go. So I'm going to keep it like that because I like that length. Okay, so um, let me zoom out just a touch. There we go. Um, I'm going to come in and just bend these over. Do my little bend there to make my loop. It's about a quarter of an inch or so. Bend get my round nose plier. We've got really good um, tutorials, skill builders on how to make our loops. But essentially I just use my round nose plier, move that around. I'll show you again on this one. Bend at about a quarter of an inch end in. That bend that you make, folks, centers your loop over the stem of the earring. So I want this loop to be pretty small. So I'm going right at the end of my plier and up and over the top using my round nose and see what a nice, clean, nice size loop I've got. Okay, and I'm gonna flatten that close to make sure it's closed. So these are closed and ready to go. Now let me show you how to build these ear wires. And we're going to shape these. We're going to make some of our own. We're going to use half hard wire. Um, we'll get all of that in. And there's a special plier that I like using to make these and stuff. So um, let me zoom out a little bit. I feel like we're a little out of focus. There we go. That's better. Um, but here's the ear wire that goes through your ear. This is about a 22, 21 gauge probably this wire is about. So Basically, all I do is I put on that round bead, I put on that spacer, and we make a loop just like um, just like we did before. Okay, so I'm going to bend this wire at an angle like this, and I'm going to take my plier and I'm gonna loop, make my loop. And notice, friends, how I bent the wire away from the ear wire so that when I make the loop, I'm making the loop towards the back of the earring. Okay, can you see that there? Look at that, 
So I love these because it brings the earring design up, you know, the beads that I used up into the ear wire itself. Okay. So it makes a nice continuity there. So let's do these. I carried these a lot in my store. We, I think we also carried them at bead shop when we were brick and mortar. And I carried these in my store, uh, Bedissimo in San Francisco, all those years ago. Um, but I always, always love these um, because I love adding the bead to bring that design up into the ear wire. So see how I did this? See how when I bent, there's a little bit of room here so the beads can move just a, just a bit. But I bent the ear wire towards the front, the, the end of the wire, towards the front of the ear wire. Now I'm gonna loop that loop up and over towards the back of the ear wire, okay? And I want a nice, even, tightly closed loop, okay? So there are our ear wires. Now, all we have to do is connect this ear wire to that uh, head pin, okay? So let me go ahead and put those on. I would open the loop from the head pin, open it up forward, slide on the ear wire, close it up nice and tight. See these bent chain nose really help you close that up nice and tight. Oh, I'm glad Pauline, you like these ear wires. I do too. I love, love, love how they look. But don't worry, we'll tackle this in a future lesson um, and we'll make a whole bunch of different ear wires. Um, I'll get the plier in that's my favorite and we will, we'll go on an earring making, ear wire making odyssey. So here are these, okay? Same length as these, maybe just slightly heavier because I've used more beads, but you make them to your, to your taste, okay? Let's put these babies together down here. So let me get all my, head pins <clears throat> and I'm going to start and I'm going to kind of go at Kate's speed here because again, if you want a little more of a tutorial on closing and opening these jump rings, go to our skill builder. Um, Janice put up the link for all of our skill builders here on beadshop.com. Um, not only does it have skill builders on how to do ear wires, but a whole bunch of different stuff. Um, so they're really great, solid tutorials there. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just use my head pins and put all of these on together. And then I'll lay them all out and I'll check them to make sure they're right. But here's this one. Here's this one. But again, your mileage may vary. You may want to vary these. So if you do, Go for it, right? Here's our that precious Paloma. Come here, friend. There we go. And this eight little size eight seed bead size gold. So there that one is. Okay, so that's gonna go in the center over there. Let's put these together. <clears throat> Paloma five or three mil, five mil, Paloma, gold, space or gold. And then the two dangles, three mil, Daisy, six cents, English cut. And last but not least, um, melon, five mil, six cents, three mil. Okay, there we go. 
So now let me connect all of these top parts together. Let me find that other earring back. Here's one with an earring back. Let me switch that out so it's symmetrical. Okay. And yeah, Helen, we can definitely make ear wires. I've been making ear wires my whole jewelry making career when I do my metal smith earrings and stuff. So I, I promise we will tackle making ear wires. No better time uh, to do it than when, you know, <laughs> necessity is the mother of invention, right? But I'll get the, the wire that we want. We want a nice half hard wire to do it. Uh, and we can make a whole bunch of ear wires that way. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to connect the tops of these. This one has the loop. So I'm going to grab my six millimeter, 18 gauge jump ring. I'm going to put my loop through it. Let me open it just a touch more. I'm going to put my charm on it. And then I'm going to put my earring on that, right? Then we're going to close it up. That one's ready. Okay. Let's go ahead and put this bird on this one. So let me pick this up. This one, I made the loop the same. I, I bent right here at the top of the, the earring, or the, the bead stack. Um, you could leave a little bit of wire on there, but see here, I didn't want it to dangle too far down because I didn't want this birdie to cover up too much of that arrow. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to cut again, about a quarter of an inch or three eighths of an inch, somewhere in there. Up and over. Make that loop almost there. There we go. I want to close that up. There we go. And now let's pick up my jump ring. Open it up nicely. Uh, hoop. This isn't quite closed. And if your loop isn't closed, it's open. So let's make sure that they're closed. There we go. So they don't fall off your earring. Put that on, right? And now our ear wire. Our earring top is not really a wire. Close that up. Okay. So here, this would also work as cousins, right? Isn't that, those are great. Helen's asking what makes this, this um, bead an English cut? Kind of hard for you to see here, Helen, on the, on the camera. But if you go to the website, you'll see our English cuts that are a lot larger on our website. Essentially, an English cut is a pressed bead and it has six facets on top, six facets on bottom, and there's like a seam in the middle of the bead. So it looks kind of like a cut seed bead, honestly. Um, but with this, with this little small one, it's kind of hard to see. It's a very traditional vintage type bead that's still been made, being made um, in the Czech Republic. They're Czech glass beads, as is all of these beads that are in the kit. Great question. Thank you. So now let's add the, uh, the two main bottom dangles. So I've got this arrow and I used the, uh, to kind of differentiate this jump ring from that jump ring. I got the textured jump ring here. We also carry these jump rings in ovals, textured ovals, which I like a lot. So let's open this up, put the charm on, put the loop through, and close it. Also, looks great with just that arrow. Let's put this bird on. And this bird I made 
I don't know, about this long. So maybe I have like three quarters of an inch right here, maybe ish. So I'll bend, cut away the excess and form my loop. I love the bare wire look for dangled earrings. I love keeping some wire exposed. Gives it a little more, in my opinion, kind of a contemporary look. Some people like it, some people do not, but I do. And if you don't, just cut the wire closer to your beads. Okay, so what we've got here, look, another great cousin look, right? I could have completely stopped there. And that looks fantastic. Can you see the difference in these? And then I just added dangles. I think I'm going to keep these kind of simple like this, though I think I'm going to shorten, I'm going to shorten this just a hair. So it matches just a touch more. Let me cut, let me show you how I kind of backtrack here. I'm going to cut a little bit of that loop away. The bird charms, Linda, I'm sorry. Well, we may have some Paloma beads left at bead shop if we do nab them because they will not be returning. These are a Tierra Cast product. And when they're gone, they're gone. They're under Paloma. Um, and I know we've carried some. I'm not sure if we're sold out yet or not. Our Tierra cast is going fast. So um, once these beauties are gone, they're gone. But I don't know. You never know. I mean, maybe, I hope against hope, I think. But maybe there'll be a... 11th hour save. I don't know. I don't even like to say that on air because I don't, I have no confirmation of what's going on, but wouldn't that be great if that happened? Um, but Tierra cast will be closing at the end of the year, but they are, um, they are selling out fast. Put that guy on and close it up. So here is this cousin look. Yeah, see that bare wire? The other one was just a touch long. See that? Look at how great. Oh, Janice is saying none left. I'm sorry. I know my heart is crying. <laughs> so I know it's just, but again, we wish our friends at Tierra Cast, all of the best, and we thank them for all of the wonderful years of wonderful beads. That just means that Janice and I have to put on our treasure hunting caps and find you some new beauties to add to your pieces. So don't worry, we're, we're up to the challenge for sure. So I'm going to pull all of these together, and I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So you can see the differences, how I made these all a little bit different. And if you go stash diving, again, if you're watching this and we've run out of kits, because I have made a limited supply, they're going to go live at noon Pacific time. Today's the 21st, September 21st of 2003. Um, and if you're watching this later on a different broadcast, you can utilize this technique with any um, beads that you have in your stash, even more so because you're making cousins, not twins or sisters, right? Because here you only need one of these charms, right? You need two birds, but this could be a bird and something else, a leaf or whatever, right? So I'm going to leave this one a little less adorned. And you can see these are a little more adorned here but I could very easily just add, and I could have these dangle a little bit lower if I wanted to leave some bare wire on there too, right? 
but I'm just going to go ahead and leave those off to the side. So you can see, since I already have one made up like that, you can see it right here. So in your kit, you're going to get enough beads to make one pair of the Paloma Cousins down here and one pair of the Fire Polish Cousins up there. Okay, so you'll get two, um, two uh, pairs here. Okay, uh, so I hope that you enjoyed um this let me yeah for new jersey it's noon pacific so it's about half an hour from now right now on the west coast let me put myself up here right now on the west coast it is uh 11 30 on the dot if we're doing this live um so in a half hour if you're shopping or whatever refresh your screen right? Your browser. Make sure that you're signed in beforehand. Uh, if you have an account, sign into your account to make sure you get your rewards points, all that good stuff. Let me show you where it's going to be. Let me share my screen here. Uh, whoops, I don't have a screen to share. Hang on a second. Let me add the bead shop browser tab here. Share my screen and here she is. There we go. So if you click on, this is our homepage right now on beadshop.com, right there in the center, you see the third Thursday earring kit. You click on that, it's going to take you to the earring kit page um, and we'll have them until we sell out. Okay. Linda's asking, are these earrings heavy? You know, they're not. I actually have I have a scale here. Let me actually tell you. They're not too heavy. I'm reaching over to our gram scale. Um, I don't have any problem. Where, let me put this one on that has all of these. Okay. I'll put this one in my ear. Right here. Since this ear wire, you can see, let me get rid of this page. Since this ear wire is hugging up close to my ear, it's not pulling down. Uh, this one, let me see if I can put this scale into grams. Hang on. I'm going to weigh this particular earring right here. It is, is that grams? Let me make sure. Yeah, grams. Six grams. This earring is. This one with all the beads this one's four grams here. These without the extra dangles are five grams. So the heaviest is this six gram earring and uh, it's not overly heavy at all. They're nice and big because of this loop, right? The loop is hollow. So I think they really, let me, focus on my, and so you can see it here on this side and its cousin over here on this side. So that's my story, folks. I'm sticking to it. Make sure that you use, um, you can use our September savings, 15% off $50 or more. You put in pumpkin 15 and it will knock 15% off. Or if you spend 85 or more, you put in spice 20 you'll save 20% off of your order. So you can do a little preloading here. Um, then at noon, the uh, kits go live and you can drop one of those into your cart and you will be good to go. Uh, tomorrow, my friends, we are gonna do uh, another adventure bracelet design featuring the gray uh, leather strap. And I'll give you a jump start on it. If you wanted to put this stuff in your cart today, uh, the gray leather strap and the uh, six millimeter fire polish in antique silver. Um, I'm going to use, I'm going to show you the Ali Mori method of attaching a button to this leather. This is the old coin 
button in silver, but you could use any button you liked. So we're going to play around uh, with that. I'm also using um, an 8 cut, 8C-277 in those, just in case. Um, but there's going to be a whole uh, project page and stuff for it tomorrow. So don't you worry. Um, so that's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to sharing that with you tomorrow on our free tip Friday. I hope all of you all have a fantastic rest of your day on this special Thursday broadcast. Um, and I will see you tomorrow at 1030 a.m. Uh, Pacific for our um next free tip Friday broadcast. Don't forget to uh, follow us on social everywhere at beadshop.com. Join our Facebook group, The Bead Table, and any questions at any time, shoot us an email over at info at beadshop.com. Thanks so much, everybody, for joining me today. It's always a pleasure to see you on the other side of the camera. You folks on the other side of the camera make us on this side of the camera uh, be able to do what we do, which is uh, helping you stay creative. Thanks all, and I'll see you tomorrow for Free Tip Friday. Bye-bye.